Gronk, Edelman together again. Look at this picture right here. I said, you said, um, I'm hugging Gronk so hard there. I know. Go, Where was that? He goes, the Super Bowl against Seattle. And I said. That's a touchdown right after. That is a touchdown. I think that was a touchdown. touchdown. There were a lot of touchdowns. A lot, by this lot, there were a lot of touchdowns. touchdowns, touchdowns. We just touches. saw the 2016 Patriots in there, that overtime win against the Falcons. How would you compare the Ravens to your 2016 team? Ooh, you know, there's a lot of similarities. I mean, with the quarterback, you both got an MVP type caliber quarterback, Lamar Jackson, Tom Brady. On top of it, I actually got hurt that season, and Mark Andrews is hurt, so both the starting yep. tight ends are out for us. And then we have a lot of other weapons like Julian. They got o Odell Beckham. They got Flowers. We had Chris Hogan as well. So Lamar Jackson's just going to have to step it up, air it out if they want to make it all the way. And I think uh, a lot of the similarities have to do with the, the team philosophy. When you think about the Baltimore Ravens, you think about a tough team, someone that's a team that's really good on defense, really good in the special teams game with, you know, Harbaugh being a special teams coach and offense using the run game to set up everything. That's very similar to what we were, you know, especially in 2016 when Gronk went down, mm -hmm. everyone else had to step up. And LeGarrette Blunt was You know, LeGarrette Blunt, you know, so you're going to have to see the emergence of Zay Flowers, uh, Odell, and all these guys have to make plays because Mark Andrews, is the, the stir that makes that drink go. You were okay. targeted 159 times that year. Did you know that? I don't know. I had a lot of catches. 159? <laughs> okay. That's why I had no catches. <laughs> um, speaking of the Ravens, Gronk, you had what you've called the funniest play of your career against them. Which one was Yes, it? I sure did. A nice catch right up the seam. The guy can't tackle me. A lot of guys can't tackle me, so they hold on for their dear life, so they're pulling my clothes and all that. So <laughs> we're going to call this. What are we going to call this? Trying? This is the eat my shorts play. Eat my shorts. Oh, it's a fuck, mm -hmm. it's a fuck it's show. He accidentally pulled down my pants a little bit. His face mask was kind of like right up to my butt cheeks. Mm -hmm. so. It was my shorts. It was literally <laughs> like watching an eighth grader play against <laughs> second graders when you, you were watching Gronk play. I never. It was so funny because when you ran next to Gronk, he was laughing. <laughs> and, and you could hear the ground because he's, he's like a Clydesdale. <laughs> and he'd be laughing on the field while guys are trying to tattoo By the way, him. But as a, for a defense, you've got to be like, are you kidding me? This guy is just laughing as he's making me look a fool. Okay, I want to focus real quick since we have both of you guys here. I just came off working that Thursday night game in Pittsburgh. The Patriots get a win against the Steelers team that, that needed it. Okay, I know you'll call it a loss. But we had a conversation about the future of Bill Belichick in New England. What do you think his future looks well, like? Well, first off, we have been absolutely dominating the Steelers for quite some time. The Patriots have been, especially it's when true. we were there as well. Seems. When, that was my uh, my rookie year. That was when I broke out. I had three touchdowns, you know, like 60 yards or so. We beat him my rookie Casual. year. I had three touchdowns again versus him a couple times. But with Coach Belichick, that was a big win for the organization. That yeah. was a big win for the team. As Julian says, it's a loss because he wants a better draft pick for the Patriots, which is understandable. But I think Coach Belichick for his future, I mean, that gives him a confidence boost that gives him you know the ability to say hey look at we still have it the guys still want to play ball I think he's going to continue into next year he'll stay in New England mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he's not going anywhere no he's not Jules uh <laughs> look okay uh watch what you say marriage is Jules long marriages are tough <laughs> Okay. Short marriages are tough for me <laughs> um, I'll bail you out of this one no, you know I, I it, <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I, I I really honestly think only three people know what's gonna happen next year: Bill, RKK, and Jonathan. And and I don't think they're gonna address it until the season's over. So okay. I think that's where we're at. Good job, media. That's, that's Very the good. Truth right there. All right. Um, this Saturday is the LA Bowl, hosted by Gronk yeah, at SoFi Let's go. Stadium. <laughs> Boise State versus UCLA. And you announced this week that you will be singing the national anthem, which is a gift to everyone. Can you give us a little preview? Uh, I actually gave Julian a little preview last week. He did. He, he, he called a timeout after the first line. He said, I need 10 more tequila shots before yeah, I keep needed, on listening to you. a little you. juice. Okay, oh, come on. say can you see by the dawn's early light. Everyone. That's not bad. That's really That's good. That is really good. Hit. Yes. But I I'm can't wait for the real thing. LA Bowl, and what's cool about it, it's a full circle moment, is that when I was at the University of Arizona, it was the last game I played at for the Wildcats. But the game was actually, the conference matchup was actually in Las Vegas at the time. We beat number 17, Brigham Young. 
University by like 10 BYU points. for those of you at home. My brother, Chris, he was a fullback then, played three years in the NFL. He had a play action pass right up the middle for a touchdown about 25 yards. I didn't even score in that game. So can, shout can, out to my brother. He's coming to the game. Can we well. stop calling it the L.A. Bowl? It's a Gronk Bowl. It's, it's, a, Gronk it's a Gronk Bowl. It ain't it the L.A. Bowl. It is. Mm -hmm. You're the That's best, the buddy. Truth, Thanks I'll for coming over. Jules. We can just blow up the rest.